Hi, my name is Brandon and I'm an alcoholic and addict in recovery. Today I'm going to talk about the role of food in recovery from addiction. Now in my addiction, food really served a few purposes to taste good. Um, I wanted food that tasted good. I liked food that gave me comfort. And I also used food, especially in the evenings, as a means of trying to mitigate the effects of my drinking. So I knew if I ate a lot um, and if I ate late in the evenings, that usually helped prevent hangovers in the morning, especially if I eat a lot of bread and stuff like that. So I, I had really unhealthy eating habits. Um, and a lot of times, and I, I also had up and down relationship with sugar. I'd go well, a long time eating a lot of sugary snacks and, and candy and things like that. So I, I had a pretty bad relationship with food throughout most of my addiction. In my recovery, when I went to treatment, um, the, the month that I was in treatment, I ate really well. They, they fed us very nutritious food. Uh, it was home cooked. It was delicious. I loved it. And then I left treatment, went back, uh, home and started eating poorly again. And then the pandemic hit and I ate really poorly for a long period of time. One of the key points in my recovery came when I decided I needed to change my relationship with food. And that's what I'm talking about today. I want to read some from Recovery 2.0 by Tommy Rosen, where he talks about why the relationship with food is so important. And then I'll talk a little bit about what changed for me and what changes I made in order to get a healthier, not perfect, but healthier relationship with the food that I eat. So Tommy writes, your relationship with food is directly connected to the way you experience life. It doesn't matter if you're a drug addict, alcoholic, sex addict, compulsive gambler, or emotional food binger. There is an intimate connection between what you eat and how you think, feel, and behave. Your diet correlates directly with the way your life unfolds. Food is not an outside issue when it comes to any form of addiction. It is one of the core issues. Therefore, any holistic approach to recovery must include a deep look at your relationship with food. The connection goes much deeper than you realize. Your energy levels, mood, thinking, actions, immunity against disease, all functions of the body and mind are affected by the food and water that you consume. Tommy goes on to write, when you start to address your relationship with food, you may fear that you are giving up the joyful part of eating. You may imagine some tasteless, joyless approach to eating and focus on all the things you have given up. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, once you really start to build a healthy relationship with food, a whole universe of exciting possibilities opens up. So I have never had what I would consider a healthy relationship with food. Um, like I said, I ate primarily for comfort, for taste. I, I ate things that were very bad for me. And when I was in treatment, not only was I being served very nutritious, well-balanced meals, but they brought in a nutritionist to go over uh, healthy eating with us and it, this was a, a turning point for me it was a it was a great service and it was a turning point for me because she put it very simply she cut past all the diets and all the fads and she said look you know the big thing is you want to limit your carbs as as much as you possibly can um you want to put as much fruits and vegetables and really leaning more toward the vegetables on your plate. And then you want to get some lean protein and everything else try to minimize. So, I, you know, I had struggled for a long time in my life trying to figure out what's a diet that works for me. What's a diet that makes sense? And by diet, I don't mean some fly by night. I'm going to do this for three months to try to lose weight. I mean diet in the sense of the entire view of what I eat and what I put into my body. And 
so as I, and I had tried different things. I, I had tried keto and that was just a disaster for me. I, I hated it. And I, I, it really was difficult for me. I, I had tried all these things throughout the years and I, I had a hard time really getting to the point where I enjoyed vegetables and finding vegetables I liked. And so I started to really think about this when I saw a video of myself. This was almost a year ago. I saw a video of myself where I had gotten incredibly large. Um, my, my size had increased quite a bit. And so I uh, stepped on the scale and saw that I was getting close to 300 pounds and thought that is not acceptable to me. Um, not only from a, I, I will admit, from a vain point of view, um, because I, I just did not like the way I looked, um, but I also knew that this was unhealthy for countless number of reasons, from heart and um, from heart health to uh, just you know my my body in general, knees and hips and all. I was getting sore in all sorts of places. I couldn't climb up a flight of stairs without getting winded. So I knew something needed to change. <clears throat> And what I did was I looked at, looked back at what that nutritionist had told us about the way to compose our plates. And if it's mostly vegetables, I said, well, what kind of vegetables do I like? What kind of vegetables do I enjoy? What can I do on a daily basis? And I started to realize that um, I could create salads that I liked uh, for lunch instead of what I had been doing for lunch, which was a lot of fast food. And the salads, I could put protein on them, but I could cook the protein myself. And I started to come up with different ideas for lunch, which was the meal where I was getting most of my calories during the day. And I discovered that I really enjoyed these lunches um, and I started eating mostly vegetables um, during my lunch with a little bit of protein and then I eliminated mostly most of the carbs from my diet and slowly but surely I started to develop this diet that made a lot of sense to me that became comfort food to me and that also fit the profile that the nutritionist had told me was really what we should be looking at. And when I started doing that and pairing that with exercise, the pound started to drop off. Uh, not only that, I stopped feeling so sluggish. One thing that I noticed when I was eating poorly before was I felt sluggish all the time. I would eat lunch and then be falling asleep at my desk in the afternoon. And that's not the way it should work. Your food should fuel you and give you energy. So when I started to eat like this, I found that the food was giving me energy. And sure, there's some days I get a little tired or I get a little sleepy when I'm not expecting it. But Otherwise, I, I'm energetic. And the other thing that I noticed is that I'll eat my lunch and then an hour or so later, especially if I've exercised during the day, I'll be hungry again. And I can find, uh, I can find, um, uh, I, I can satiate that hunger with just a small healthy snack, whether it's a couple of Fig Newtons or an apple or something like that. Now, this relationship with food uh, has become something that's really an important part of my recovery because what I was doing was using food as a new addiction. I, I had a new addiction with food. and um, Or another way to look at it is I never realized before what kind of addiction I had already developed with food. And so now I'm working on that part of it. It's not perfect. 
you know, one thing I still haven't let go of is I, I do have ice cream at the end of the day, every day. And I've had a really hard time moderating that. Um, so it's not perfect, but I have made progress and changing that relationship with food has not only changed the way that I feel, which has had a definite positive impact on my recovery, but I know for a fact that I've, I've lost weight, you know, over the last year that I've been doing this, I've lost, uh, almost 35 pounds, um, and I just feel better in general. And that contributes to my recovery because when I'm feeling good throughout the day, when I'm feeling energetic, when I don't feel tired, when I feel prepared to handle what the world throws at me, then I have an easier time of staying in the recovery mindset. And that's what it's all about. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more. Have a good one.